The Northern Elders Forum NEF has said they were not moved by the leaders of the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization Afenifere, Pa Ayo Adebanjo's warning that any attempt by a Northerner to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in 2023 will spell doom for Nigeria. NEF's Director of Publicity and Advocacy, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, who spoke in Abuja on Monday, said Adebanjo's threat was laughable and vowed that the North would continue to vote according to the way its interests dictate. Adebanjo had over the weekend canvassed an Igbo presidency in 2023, saying, All those who say the Southeast cannot be president, ask them, What has the Southeast done? Are they not part of Nigeria? Is the Southeast not part of Southern Nigeria? If you want peace in Nigeria, the Southeast should produce the next president. Olusegun Obasanjo had done it for eight years. Yami Osibanjo will be vice president for eight years by 2023. Good luck, Jonathan was president for six years. Is the Southeast not in Nigeria? And then you want it to go back to the Southwest again. According to Baba Ahmed, the real politicians who know and understand the depth of the Nigerian nation and what it would take to lead it know that it is talk like this from Chief Adebanjo and not the identity of the next president that represents threats to our future. Politicians from all parts of the country are talking to each other, trying to deal with the challenges of putting together the next set of leaders while a man of over 90 years old is threatening all of us. It will be interesting to know how many Yorubas support Adebajan's position. But a number of serious and credible politicians from the Southwest and other parts of Nigeria suggest that he is really just on his own. The target in this crude, lazy politics is the North, and it is not impressed. It will vote like all parts of Nigeria, exactly the way its interests detect. A president that emerges out of crisis or the shadows of threats will only compound the problems of a nation that needs to create a confident and secure future. Hakim Baba, Northern Elders um, Forum, they are just um, responding, reacting to what um, pa, Ayo Adebanjo, the leader of um, the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Fere, what he has stated. You know, he's always stated that um, any political party, any political party that uh, fields a northern and that they will not support that party. Adebanjo is from the West, but right now he's not rooting for the West. He's not speaking for the West. He's actually speaking for the Southeast because um, to him, he feels that um, other regions have had a share. He talked about Obasanjo. Obasanjo ruled for eight years Southwest. So Southwest already represented the good luck. Ibele Jonathan ruled for um, six years. He lost the election again in 2015. We know it's the first time in history that an incumbent will lose an election. There were a lot of conclusions drawn from that uh, the election that Good Luck Jonathan lost and even how he reacted, how he considered defeat and all of that. But anyway, at the end of the day, if you check the total of what he's done or what he did, um, it's six years. So the South-South, they've had their own turn. By 2023, Muhammad Buhari would have done eight years. He's from the North. And if we look at the geopolitical zones, it looks like it's the um, South-East that has been left out you know agitations have been going on although they've not been it's not like they've been agitating for uh uh a president you know the ipop what they're agitating for is their own nation they want to go their separate ways but there are some persons from the southeast who believe that um, if given the opportunity to rule the country if an Igbo president emerges that it will actually douse detention now the Kano is still being locked up he's still um, in detention for the Department of um, State Services, DSS. Anyways, Adebanjo, what he's stating right now is that uh, if another president emerges from this, either of these two regions, southwest or the north, that it will, it will spell doom for the country. It will make matters worse. Things are already, uh, challenges everywhere. The country is not in a good shape. That we already know. So what Adebanjo is stating that it will make matters worse. It will not help in any way in putting the country in the right shape or getting the country back together. 
because um, the, the country is truly, truly broken. But in a shocking reaction, Akim Baba is stating that um, Adebanjo is not meant to even be speaking. You know, he made reference of his age. That someone who is 90, that is he the one that wants to detect that as far as he's concerned, the North, they will keep voting. That if they decide that um, they want another Northern man to continue, and that is what is actually looking like because they actually want to remain in power. The North, they don't want to step down. Look at Atiku Abubakar, all of uh, those um, that have declared intentions from the North. You know, all of those declaring intentions from the North right now, they are, they are speaking against zoning. But you know, the way it works is <laughs> very, very, it's ridiculous anyway. But when it comes to their turn, when it's the turn of the North and any other region tries to talk down on zoning, you see them all up. So because it's something that um, is not in their favor, they are talking it down that there's nothing like zoning. Atiku Abubakar has tried that. He has spoken about that, that um, there's nothing like zoning. And he's been reminded that if he's saying that there's nothing like zoning, what about um, um, the federal character, that they are one and the same thing? Federal character talks about um, rotating, getting people, um, the whole region being represented. Same thing. But anyways, Ahmed has just uh, replied Adebanjo. So Adebanjo, he's telling Adebanjo right now that um, all he's saying is just a threat. That he cannot threaten the country and that as a matter of fact the threat what does he think the threat will do to the country or if eventually um, a president emerges from this um, kind of uh, um, judgment that he shouldn't go this region he shouldn't go this region uh, a president emerges and to him he feels that um, it will be out of pressure if that sort of pre um, president emerges that it will be even more problem because the person will not be prepared but you know what um, nigerians um, were truly truly tired of um um, all of these politicians because they are not changing things, they are not helping things because the politics in Nigeria is a game of interest. What we truly want is um, uh, to this country to move forward. We bear a very big name, giant of Africa, giant of Africa. But if we look around other African countries, even smaller ones than us, they are doing very well. They are managing their resources, their, their government, everything is in shape. But look at us. Look at the country just because of selfish politicians and also a lot of personal interest here and there. Well, with the case of zoning, we know the political parties, they are still playing some games. PDP, they've not um, they've not come out firm, but it's not long to go. The primaries are just around the corner. Everything will come out eventually. Not long to go. Well, guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.